Hi guys, so today I'll be talking about how you can actually add breadcrumbs to your website, right? Um, obviously to your Duda site. Obviously Duda don't offer this as a widget, so you have to build it um, custom. You can use third party platforms, which is what I was gonna do in the first uh, first first place. Um, I was actually gonna uh, buy um, the widget from another company and they were gonna install it for me, but it ended up, you know, they were asking for about $100 to do this, right? So I thought it can't be that hard. Um, I'll give it a go myself and here we are. So today I'll be giving you the exact code that I use to build this markup and you can simply just copy the code, plug in and play, change the pages, change the URLs, change the colors um, and you can go from there. But before we get into it today guys, I just wanna say, um, if you haven't already joined my Facebook group, um, go and join that. You'll be able to receive the Duda SEO checklist. Uh, you'll be able to receive the Duda SEO architecture template. Um, you'll be able to receive you know, updates on my videos. And you'll also be able to receive the actual exact code that I use for breadcrumbs. Um, so I'm going to be pasting the code in here. Um, and I'm going to be saying, you know, you can just, you know, plug in and play. You can just take it and adjust the URLs and things and you can just install it onto your site. And the way you do this is simply by going, you know, going to, um, you know, adding a widget, right? And you simply add the widget and you type up HTML, custom HTML, and you can just add that widget in there. And then it gives you the option to add custom HTML. And all you need to do is just copy and paste this HTML that I'm going to be giving you into here and you'll be able to get your uh, breadcrumbs showing up on the site. And that's all you need to do really guys. And I'll be taking this code and I'm going to paste it into the Facebook group down here and be pasting it in there, right? Um, so if you want that, simply just join my Facebook group and you'll be able to receive it in there and you can just change the, uh, you can just change the URLs, you can change the colors, things like that. And then it saves you, you know, $100, $50, whatever it, whatever it costs. And um, there you go guys. Uh, also, once you do do the, um, once you do do the uh, breadcrumbs markup, it's important that you add, uh, not the actual, you will, you add the breadcrumbs, the widget, HTML, and it's important that you actually, actually add breadcrumbs schema markup, right? So what you wanna do to add breadcrumbs schema markup, I'll give you a, a quick background of what it is. Um, so breadcrumbs, um, ski, uh, we'll just go help SEO. Because what's great about um, breadcrumbs is they actually help SEO. They help the user, uh, the search engines, crawl your website and find where different pages are, what pages, what um, pages are part of what uh, folders and you know sub pages and things. As you can see here, what is CMS therapy is in our services sub page, and then our services is in the home. Well, is the um, sort of parent page, and then that's the um, kind of the main page, obviously. Um, so it's great for SEO. Um, as you can see, you, you can find tons of articles online about why it's good for SEO. Um, um, you know, and it's also good for uh, web design and user, you know, user experience purposes. So when customers come on the site, it makes it easier for them to navigate through um, different pages, especially big sites and e-commerce sites can use this um, to navigate through big pages and things like that. So if we go to a site that I'm working with at the moment, we go to ROM store and we click on one of the products. As you can see here, it says you are here. And then I could click onto there and it should give us you are here and it goes to the um, category, gives the um, sort of subcategory and then it gives you the product. So it's really important that you have this sort of, um, you know, breadcrumbs in the site to help user experience purposes and to help um, the search or well, the search engine find different pages on your site and break each page down. Right. Um, so it's really important that you do this. Um, and that's, that's about it really, guys. Um, if you do want to add the breadcrumb scheme markup, as mentioned earlier, all you have to do is just go to technicalseo.com. Um, so you go up here. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to do this. And then you simply go over to uh, schema markup generator. And then there should be the breadcrumbs markup here. And then you can add page one name and then the URL. And then it gives you the markup code here. And you can just copy and paste that, paste it into the um, the the the, sec uh, the header of the site. So you can just go over to settings and then just go over to uh, SEO. And you go down to header and then you can just paste it in there. And the reason why you should do this, right, is because, first of all, obviously having this on its own is great for SEO. But you kind of want to tell the um, tell the Google bot that there's breadcrumbs on this site, right? So the way, way you do this is by adding schema markup to each page that has the breadcrumbs, right? And what this is enables is this kind of feature. Um, if I can find an example, breadcrumb SEO, click on this. So it enables this feature here, like the little, you know, the URL, and then it has the kind of sub page and it has the sub sub page, right? Um, so that's kind of an example of what breadcrumbs markup does for you, right? So it's just really important that you have this, um, you know, 
even if it is a small site, you know, if you have sub pages and things, it's just really important that you have this, you know, sub sub pages, it's even more important that you have this, like the bigger the site, the more important it, important it becomes, right? Um, so there you go, guys. I hope that helps. Um, join my Facebook group and I'll paste the, uh, I'll paste the code in the Facebook group and you'll be able to get it in there and just paste it and then take it and put it on your own site, right? Um, so thank you very much, guys. Cheers.